Hey, happy Sunday, everybody. Mark again here at Weatherman Plus. Now, I'm going to give you the latest updates on what's going on with this storm. It has updated, just like I told you in last video. It has stretched out. So we still have our severe weather that's happening for today. This is going to climb as we go through tomorrow. We're still getting a low trough, and it's going to continue to keep building all these storms. You have all this heat, 80s and 90s building, a lot of convection, a lot of lift, still bring a lot of large hail. And not just then, for Tuesday as well as going to be there, for Wednesday is going to be there and move over some and for Thursday just like I told you it was going all the way to the east coast we have it for Thursday as well so I'm gonna give you all the latest information in this video that way you know what to expect if you do like my weather forecast make sure you do subscribe I am all year long make sure you click the bell so you get the updates share this information to others help others find out what's going on with the storms without any hype I don't add any of that hype just let's give you the plain facts now for today there is a chance for tornadoes and it's really not going to kick up until you get later in the afternoon as the storm system heads further to the north you're going to start getting this little tail whip that's going to pull north and if you take a look at it once you go around three and four o'clock you start getting these little singular cells these little supercells that start sparking up and you can see that's in your tornado area so as you go through the evening they're going to keep sparking up further and further to the south even a nice little hail core right there for northeastern arkansas southeastern missouri as you go through five and six o'clock but this is what you need to think about when you think about the chances for tornadoes for today all the way to seven o'clock you see how it keeps spreading further and further to the south on this line now then that's going to leave away and we have what's coming for tomorrow and tomorrow and all the way to wednesday is just going to be bursting in the south with these storms so let me show you the latest information remember timestamps are in the description below they're also right here so it helps save you time thank you again for visiting my channel today now yesterday we didn't have any tornado reports we did have a lot of wind reports very strong winds As a matter of fact we have even stronger winds about to start Plus, we also have another storm coming and a potential day eight that might be coming out. Let me show you the latest information. So you see for today, you do get them storms that do build up as you go through the afternoon for the area. And it's not a big threat, but there is a quick spin up that can come out of that. But as you go into Monday, Monday is when it really starts raising up. Tuesday gets even stronger on your temperatures and you start getting these storms building up even more on the southern side. And as you go through Wednesday, it's going to start pushing towards the east. This is where everything's going to start troughing through the south and the southeast for Wednesday overnight into Thursday. That's the one thing. As you go Wednesday into Thursday threat, it's going to be an overnight early morning threat for the southeast as this pushes up towards the northeast and then starts leaving. Then once we go about seven, eight days away, we got our next storm system starting to come in. So far it's showing it's going to go up on a high ridge, but it's going to start bringing some potential severe weather with that as well. Your dew points for today gets nice and strong sissies that do push all the way into that area where you have chances for the tornadoes. Remember the southern side of that tail is where that chance for those tornadoes will build up but as you go into monday and tuesday and wednesday it just sits there the whole time and just builds up all these storms chances for very large hail i can't stop saying that you need to pay attention because this is still showing a lot of large hail carrying from texas louisiana mississippi all the way to alabama georgia and the southeast maybe even florida as well it has grown all the way to Wednesday, then it's going to start pushing to the east. So once you go into Wednesday, it's going to go start going to the east. And overnight for Thursday, it looks like it's going to be the strongest point before it pushes offshore for the mid-Atlantic for Thursday evening. Then our next storm system coming in is going to be just as a strong storm system. I will keep you updated. You can see your lift for today. You do have the cape. You do have the lift for those storms that are building for your chances for your tornadoes. So it is enough lift in the atmosphere. But as we go into Monday, you see how it just raises and your heat goes from 80s to 90s, raises even more for Tuesday. Then it raises for Wednesday and then it starts to move to the east showing it will be strong for Wednesday and it will be strong overnight in the morning for Thursday. So we do need to watch out for that. That could carry a little bit more 
towards the mid-Atlantic. We will see where that surface low forms at. Still a little too far to be sure. Then that next storm system coming in is showing a lot of chances for strength. And then it strengthens way up as you go into Sunday and for Monday also. This is for Sunday and it will stretch into Monday also. So we do need to watch out for that next storm system because it's showing also some strength. This is going to be a day seven, day eight already. But you can see here with HRRR as you look for your significant tornado perimeters, that you start getting best chances for tornadoes on the southern tail of that storm system this afternoon as you go 3 o'clock all the way to 6 and 7 o'clock. Shows your strongest chances. Then it goes further south on that tail before it goes to the evening. Then it dissipates. Then we kick right back in again for tomorrow. And that's those storms that I did show you that will build up as it goes through southern Illinois, Missouri for the afternoon. Later in the afternoon, it goes further south into western Kentucky, western Tennessee, maybe even a little bit of northeastern Arkansas. This will move around a little bit, but that's where your threat is going to be for those chances for those tornadoes for today. And as that pushes east and we go into Monday, then it brings on another big threat. Not only what y'all doing for your solar eclipse, in my opinion, don't worry. This is not going to ruin your solar eclipse. I've been seeing that everywhere and that is just dramatic. It's not going to ruin your solar eclipse. People still going to have their chances to see what they're going to see. It's still going to be there. It just might be a different aspect of what you see, but it won't ruin it. But you see how these storms just burst up. As you go into Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday is going to get stronger and stronger and then it's going to move east. So you can see here from National Weather Service for today, you do have your chances for tornadoes. It is just a 2%, but there is a chance so far. Here's your cities and states at risk. There is also a wind threat and a hail threat in the same areas. And National Weather Service does say isolated, strong, and severe thunderstorms appear possible during the late afternoon to mid-evening from parts of far east Texas into the lower mid-Mississippi Valley. And there will be enough sufficient lift and moisture in the atmosphere for a potential tornado or two. But if it does not mature up to become potential tornadoes, the isolated threat will be hail and strong damage and wind gusts. Just be aware of that. Showing so far, just as we go through today, starting off with the high winds over here in Colorado, Wyoming, also Nebraska and Kansas. And it's going to stay around 40, 50 miles per hour wind gusts for South Dakota, Iowa, southern Minnesota, western Wisconsin, and northwestern Illinois, where you have that storm system going to the north. Then we have what's coming Monday, Tuesday, and on. Showing with the updraft helicity tracks, there's not going to be a lot of large hail coming for y'all. The large hail is going to be on the southern side as we go Monday, Tuesday, and beyond. But you can see how strong it's going to be for everybody all week long. This is your lightning strikes, and you can see for today, you do get some lightning strikes that come in with that storm system. And as you go later in the evening, it goes further to the south, and you get a little bit of isolated overnight into the early morning hours, mainly for Louisiana, northern Mississippi, some of Tennessee, some of Alabama. Then as we kick in for Monday, this is where you start getting your chances for your hail. So as we come in through Monday, let me go a little bit further so southern Texas can see where they're at as well. That you started getting a lot of these lightning strikes. Now remember, when you get to the white, that's indicative to a strong updraft where it keeps bringing that particulate up, up, over and over and over. It keeps getting bigger and bigger. And the biggest hail comes out of those areas. As so you see, the storm strengthens as you go through Monday evening. It did mile down for Monday as far as a large hail, but you still got chances for hail in all this dark pink reddish color. That is a lot of precipitation, a lot of lightning strikes, strong storms passing through. Look at 6 p.m. As it grows all the way to 8 p.m., it starts getting worse and worse with your chances for large hail. Then as you go through towards Monday night, it really builds up from Monday night. A lot of lightning strikes starts adding up to a lot of chances for large hail. And look, it's going to be overnight storms all the way into early morning, chances for large hail and all of that white. Early Tuesday, you're still having these storms, still bringing chances for large hail all over Texas, some of Oklahoma, Louisiana, and Arkansas. Now, once you go into Tuesday evening, this is where it gets really big. Look at all these lightning strikes growing for eastern Texas as it transitions into Tuesday night going towards Louisiana. Look at that. That is a lot of large hail for Tuesday evening. Be aware of that. Then it kicks in overnight for southern Texas as this all starts going further to the east. As you go into Wednesday, 
a lot of large hail. This is going to be over 24 to 36 hours of just nonstop storms dropping a lot of hail. Then as you move over on Wednesday, you can see it does go over towards Louisiana just as strong. It does move over to New Orleans area and the West Bank. Look at all that. Large hail potentially coming out of that. That looks like a dangerous situation, everybody. As you go into Mississippi, it's just as strong for Wednesday and still in Louisiana. As you go into Wednesday evening, it builds for Alabama and Tennessee. As you go into Thursday, this is overnight, going into Georgia, the Panhandle of Florida, bringing you chances for large hail. Then it goes into upstate South Carolina with all these strong lightning strikes, chances for hail, large hail in the white. A lot of hail coming out of this storm. If you don't get any tornadoes out of this system pushing east, which it is showing stronger for Wednesday going into Thursday on your lower level winds, the rest of it just looks like some damaging winds, but a big hail threat is going to be your main threat. But there is chances for tornadoes. But these lightning strikes going all the way over tells me it is going to be a nasty storm. And look what it does also as this storm system comes by. We get our next one coming through, and that's when it's going to start bringing severe weather as well as we go Sunday into Monday on that storm system. So we definitely got to watch that one with a little tail whip on the southern side bringing severe weather on that storm system. And National Weather Service is looking at that, and they're already saying that there's a chance for already a day eight. 15%. So here's what you can expect for the rest of the week. And I will update this every single day for tomorrow. Chances for tornadoes for Monday. You got your 2%. You got your 5%. So far, here's your cities and states at risk. You also have your wind threat for tomorrow. It's a 5%. I think this could grow a little bit, but your hail threat is your main risk all week long. So as you go through Monday, you have the 5% in the brown, you got the 15% in the yellow, but in this black is your significant severe, large to very large hail, at least two inches in diameter. I think this will climb anywhere from two to four inches as we go through this transition. So here's your chances for the hail threat for Monday and your significant hail, your very large hail is a white line on top. National Weather Service says multiple rounds of severe thunderstorms should develop from early afternoon Monday through Tuesday morning across a large portion of Texas into South Oklahoma, Southwest Arkansas, and West Louisiana. A few tornadoes, scattered large to very large hail, and isolated severe wind gusts will be possible. Then as you go Monday into Tuesday, you're still in the same area with all them storms. So here's your 5%, you have your 15%, and once again, you're significant severe. So here's your cities and states at risk. And remember, your large to very large hail is your white line on top. Now, significant severe is more than just hail. It could be EF2 or stronger tornadoes, and it could be hurricane force winds. It's probably for hail, but I will keep you updated. National Weather Service says scattered severe thunderstorms are probable on Tuesday across most of Texas to the Red and Lower Mississippi River Valleys. A few tornadoes, significant large hail, and damaging winds are possible. And now we go into Wednesday. Here's your 15% for Wednesday. So far, here's your cities and states at risk, but you do see the wide area that's at risk. And Thursday, as it moves across the southeast, here's your cities and states at risk. But yeah, once again, you can see the wide area. And you can see National Weather Service is talking about the second storm, like I've been telling you. Indications of the next shortwave trough ejecting eastward in the west may increase severe potential into a portion of the plains towards day 8. And showing chances for 40 and 50 miles per hour wind gusts is going to persist as it goes through the south all the way across the southeast into the northeast. Now the green is the 40s, but that orange is the 50s, and you see how it just ramps up as you go Wednesday into Thursday. This is gonna get a little bit stronger, I'll show you. All the way towards Texas, all the way towards Southern Texas, bringing up 50s, maybe even some 60s with it. And then the next system coming through all the way to the upper Midwest, that's bringing some 50s and 60s with that as well. And you can see with the Euro that it's just gonna add up. And as you go Thursday into Friday, that's gonna start going towards the Northeast and you're gonna get more coming in for Saturday as well. A lot of rainfall showing a big threat adding up all the way to Wednesday. Then it moves over towards the east and northeast. Look at all this heavy rainfall coming. This is going to bring some serious 
flooding. And this is going to move towards the southeast and the northeast as you go all the way towards Friday. A lot of rainfall coming your way with these storms. A lot of chances for large hail as well. Now you can see almost the same thing with GFS. It goes a little bit on a higher ridge a little bit sooner. So it's not as far towards the eastern side of the U.S. And it's not as far towards the Gulf Coast. It's more higher on a ridge. But you can see with National Weather Service just until Wednesday morning bringing a lot of rainfall. All this is going to be a lot of flooding. This is going to grow and grow. You already got a moderate level risk for flash flooding. So you can see this starting on Monday. You do have your marginal, but you got your slight risk for flash flooding. On Tuesday, this is going to grow. And this is where you have your moderate section now. I told you this was going to grow the other day. I figured it'd be a little bit further southern, but it's a little bit further to the north. So you have your moderate level risk for flash flooding for Tuesday. You do have your slight risk that has grown, and it is going to grow again for Wednesday. You do have it going all the way towards the southeast, and you have a marginal going all the way towards Ohio Valley. This is going to grow some more. Matter of fact, for Thursday, this is going right up the coast towards the northeast. You got your marginal going all the way towards New England, but you got a slight risk right here for your flash flooding for Thursday. So it is going to be a lot of flooding, a lot of hail, and some chances for tornadoes. Plus that storm system I'm showing you for next week. Now, when you look at your lower level winds, you can see as you go through Monday, it's not showing a lot of lower level winds for Tuesday neither. So that's telling me there's not a lot of strong wind direction change with height. Not a lot of chances for tornadoes. They could spin up a quick tornado, but it's mostly going to be potentially damaging winds. But a big, large hail threat is going to be your main focus. Then as you go Tuesday into Wednesday, it starts growing up a little bit more as you go through Wednesday morning and Wednesday afternoon. So watch out for your chances of potentially some strong storms. Maybe get in towards the tornado area for southern Mississippi going into Alabama. But once you go Wednesday into Thursday, those winds really crank up and really strengthens these storms as you go into your Wednesday and your Thursday threat. So just be aware, I think there is chances for that to maybe be more intense on your chances for your tornadoes for Thursday for the southeast towards the northeast is bringing the chances for those winds and strong storms as well. And remember, these storms are going to be dangerous for people that's in the south. There's going to be a lot of traffic, a lot going on, a lot of thunderstorms and lightning with chances for large hail. But it's not going to ruin your event, everyone. Stop hearing people tell you this is going to ruin your event. People are just so dramatic trying to just get clicks for views. Honestly, if you go here, this is your NASA forecast. The link is in the description below. You can put your zip code here, or you can go down here and zoom into the main cities of where it's expected for this to pass. And as it comes by, it will let you know what your totality is. If you're not on this trail, it will let you know what your percentage of seeing it in other areas. So go up here and put your zip code. I'll put in where I grew up in Mandeville, and it will tell you exactly your percent of coverage, your maximum percentage, what time this is coming by, and your best answers of what your forecast will be. Stop hearing from people that tells you just what you want to hear or what they're hyping up to be. Go for the reality of this viewing. Enjoy your viewing experience. It's not going to be ruined. The link is in the description. That way you can see the best place for you to go. Thank you for your time, everybody. Hope this forecast has helped you in some way. Hope you have a very blessed day today. Happy Sunday to everybody out there. Now, before you go, Proverbs 19, 1 through 5. Some wise words. Better is the poor that walketh in his integrity than he that is perverse in his lips and is a fool. Also, that the soul be without knowledge, it is not good. And he that hasteth with his feet sinneth. The foolishness of man perverteth his way, and his heart fretteth against the Lord. Wealth maketh many friends, but the poor is separated from his neighbor. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall not escape. Amen. Have a great Sunday, everybody. I'll see you again for tomorrow morning. And starting tomorrow, I will start going back to my afternoon updates, especially for this severe weather event for this week. That way you know what to expect and you know the timing of it. And most importantly, without any hype included. Thank you again for your time. And remember, all glory always goes to God. Our Father in heaven, Yahweh, and I always hope he keeps you safe. You, your family, your neighbors, 
everyone that you touch. And forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Have a great day. Everybody.